so I put together this pod under my RC plane which I will drop at a high altitude to simulate the space missions currently done by Virgin Galactic and other space plane companies. You think so? Oh, that was not good. The, the pod I was gonna test fell off the plane, which is not ideal. That didn't work out. I did this whole project in only like a few hours because I was pressured by the sheer amount of homework I had. So next time I might add two strings to the airplane to secure the payload better. And I might uh, completely do a different project for this entrepreneurship if the weather doesn't keep up. But I decided to pursue the entrepreneurial mindset of creativity and innovation. Using the same foam board as the homebuilt plane, I made a hatch that should pop open, releasing the Arduino. Real space companies also use elastic force to release test modules from experimental planes. That previous design clearly didn't work very well. So like the real engineers at space companies, I redesigned the payload hatch to involve a completely different fuselage tube. The string is still wrapped around to the servo and with the flip of the switch, I can open it. So the payload is dropped. Let's see if this works in practice though. So this is the payload I will be dropping. It consists of the Arduino connected to an atmospheric sensor giving me temperature and humidity and altitude data. It's powered by a 9 volt battery using a connector I soldered together. And the parachute is a trash bag connected with four strings. The camera is running. Let's hook up the string that's going to be holding it on onto the servo. Perfect. It, the plane actually flies. That makes me very happy. But it's very interesting to control it with that huge piece of payload. It definitely doesn't climb as well. Now I'm gonna drop the payload from the RC plane. It works. The mission was a success. I'm just sure. Oh. <laughs> what about the airplane? Is it okay? <laughs> okay. okay, keep it in control. Now I'm going to try to retrieve the atmospheric data from the Arduino's onboard EEPROM memory and print it to the serial monitor. Here's the altitude data collected. We can see the takeoff, flight, and the drop. It's rather erratic though. That may be because the sensor was pressed too tightly against the Arduino's surface. Here's the temperature, which shows at around 8 to 10 Celsius. It's possible this curve was caused by air currents with different temperatures. It could also be because of unrelated sensor noise. The humidity was completely thrown off by the grass's wetness. Next time, I'll position the sensor differently to get better data. Okay, so here are the other two entrepreneurial mindsets of this project. Comfort with risk and flexibility and adaptability. At first, I didn't think this would even work, but my personal comfort with risk grew after this rewarding gamble. I also learned to be more flexible and adaptable.
When my drop system required a complete overhaul, I rethought the whole mechanism, and in the end, the results paid off.